Hi, this is David from the Center for Operational Excellence at St. Vincent College, and today I'd like to show you a little bit about how to link problem solving and the, the methods for problem solving to cascading your daily meetings. So we'll look at problem solving as it, as it comes up uh, in the natural course of your operation and how that moves and travels to a daily meeting and then how it might travel uh, upwards in the organization to a cascaded set of daily meetings. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, we're going to start our daily meeting. Um, were there any safety problems? Uh, any incidents happen when out at a client? No? Nope. And did we do a wipe down today? I did a wipe down. Okay, great, thank you. Um, we can uh, also mark up on our green cross for today that we are good. Um, any quality problems? Any uh, customer complaints, confusion? around our accounting processes? No. Nope. Any problems or defects with our websites? I have one for the website. Okay. The problem was a link in the blog didn't open. The article was to bias for action, leadership, truce, initiative, and decisiveness. And the link was three G's, go and see, get the facts and grasp the situation, target description, all links in every blog open to the correct page. Um, and the containment measure was to correct the link and do a problem solving sheet, which I might have to pass on to someone else. Okay, great. Do you know who that is yet? I think Dave wrote the blog, so I'll have to talk to him about it. Okay. Would you like me to take that up to the next daily meeting? Yes, if you can. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, any other quality problems? How about productivity? Did you have everything needed to get your job done? Uh, I had one problem today. Um, uh, describe the point of recognition. Uh, I was walking around the office looking for the ink. So uh, what is the problem? The point of cause is I did not know uh, to order new ink because it was out. So target description is uh, have ink when it's needed. So the containment measure uh, that we did was I had to ask you how to order because I wasn't sure what to do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure really what to do with the five Y. So. Do you need some more coaching? I do. Okay. I guess so can we work on that after the daily meeting? Sounds good. Great. And could you take this yep. to the next one? We'll do. Thanks. That's a great problem. Any other productivity problems? I had a productivity problem. Um, somebody registered for the summit, and I wasn't sure if we should invoice him now or after the summit. Um, so the target description is um, invoicing a registered event attendee would be standardized within our current process. Um, my containment measure um, is to brainstorm to determine when is the appropriate time to um, invoice. Mm -hmm. So I need to find out the root cause of this one, but I'm going to have to get together with you so we can talk about that. Sure. Yeah, we can work through the thought wise. That'd be great. Okay. Good, good. Anything else for productivity? How about human development? And the planned absences in the next 10 days? Uh, Laura and I won't be here next week, next Friday. We're going to be going to Florida. Okay, great. Yeah, it's up on our schedule. Um, do we have any other suggestions or any suggestions? And what flexibility training can be completed this week? Looks like we have two topics down there that we can get together on. And um, why don't we try and get to that by Thursday, okay? Sounds good. Great. Uh, cost? Any overtime needed? And were there any unplanned expenses? Okay, good, good. Um, and OE implementation, is everyone at the meeting? Um, we talked about some coaching on problem solving sheets, so why don't we sit down after the meeting here? Um, was workplace restoration completed? Mm -hmm. Yep, great, thank you for that. And uh, were there any other outstanding actions from yesterday's meeting? I don't think so. Okay. I think we're good here. Great. Thanks, guys. Let's have a day. Yep. Have a day. So one of the things that it's important for you to do as a team leader is to get yourself prepared for your daily meetings. So one of the first things I do whenever I come into the office in the morning is I check a couple of things. I look at some of the visualizations that we have in the office in order to get ready for my daily meeting. So let's step inside and take a look at our problem solving board first. So whenever I come in in the morning, one of the first things I look at is the problem solving board. And I'm looking for two things at the problem solving board. First, I'm looking to see where can I help my team by doing some coaching. 
So I'm going to look at the problem solving sheets and I'm going to see who's doing the problem solving sheets and what quadrant of the problem solving board they're in. If I notice that uh, one person in particular is having trouble moving a problem solving sheet from, from this quadrant, the first quadrant where I identify the problem statement, the target condition, and the containment measure, down here to the second quadrant where I want to do the five whys, then I know that I have uh, some work to do as a team leader and as a teacher coach. I can come alongside of that person. I can wrap a PDCA, a plan to check act cycle around that person to help them develop some problem solving skills. The other thing that I look at when I'm looking at the problem solving board is uh, up here in the third quadrant, I'm looking for actions that aren't finished yet or the, they were planned to be completed by a certain date and uh, then maybe some checking mechanisms here too. So I might look at a checking mechanism and notice that this problem hasn't been checked on uh, even though it was planned to be checked on during a certain period. So I might actually pull that problem solving sheet off and I have an example of that here that I'll take to my daily meeting and make sure that I hand this back to Steve because Steve needs to make a check on this and actually update the checking mechanism. So let's move now to our daily meeting and see what happens there. So now we're ready for our daily meeting and I'm going to take my daily meeting checklist and I'm going to run through the checklist and show you how a daily meeting might look that's been linked with a, another daily meeting. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first of all, did we have any problems in safety today? No safety problems today? Just wanted to make mention that when I was walking into the uh, office this morning that there were some patches of ice out there in the parking lot. I know it looks sunny and it's warm and it's October, uh, but be careful whenever you're out there walking to make sure you pass that to your team. We'll do. Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, under quality, did we have any problems with our clients or uh, with material, any of our material, anything with the web? I had one, uh, Laura on my team had a problem with the web. Her uh, problem statement said that the link in the blog did not open properly, and mm -hmm. she cited both of those. The target description was that all links in every blog open to the correct page. Our containment was to problem solve and to correct the link. Um, her root cause for this was that there was no prompt in the standard work, um, and so she has uh, uh, an action for me to edit the changes to the standard work but Dave, she also has an action for you if you're willing to take this to uh, make sure the team knows about the internal links to the blog. So Great. can I hand that off with Yeah, you? absolutely. Thanks. So I'll go ahead and initial off that I've received the problem solving sheet and I'll take that one for action too. Thanks. Okay, um, any problems with, any quality problems with uh, um, the institute? And uh, did any of us use any material that wasn't from the institute coaching page? Okay, good. Um, moving on to productivity, did you have everything you needed to get your work done today, material or information? Any productivity problems? We, uh, Justin uh, on the team, mm -hmm. notified me of, of a productivity problem that he had uh, dealing with a Kanban. Mm -hmm. And it got me thinking that uh, to, to start a problem solving sheet here for our team, that um, my point of recognition is that the Kanban levels are not being audited. Um, so my problem statement is that the KCOE team has no system to audit the Kanban levels. Target description is that all office Kanbans are at their proper level, and I don't have a containment for this yet. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and mark that problem down here under uh, Tuesday's date, and I'll make sure that we follow up on that. Um, do you know when you're going to get that onto your master plan? By uh, tomorrow, and okay. I'd like to have it done uh, and followed through with by the end of next week. Okay, great. I'll put both of those dates down so that we can check it. Any other productivity problems? We also had another one okay. that uh, same same deal with uh, Kanban's mm -hmm. that I just have a point of recognition. Uh, KCOE has changed office suppliers, so we need to identify where this has been um, and make sure our Kanban system supports that. Okay, great. That's a great problem. I'm gonna, um, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and forward this to Steve. Okay. Right, Thanks, Steve. Dan. Yeah, this is a great problem. Thanks. Good, good. Steve, make sure you put that up on the board and follow up on that, and yep. like to see that one back at the daily meeting tomorrow. Yep. Well, okay. Great. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, any uh, human development problems? Uh, any suggestions? Uh, it looks like we've got uh, one here on the board. And uh, this is actually from Steve and from Dan and from the co-ops. And uh, 
Steve, I think what you, you're showing us here is that the Institute slides don't have a, our website on the slide template and there's no copyright information on that. And so Steve is suggesting that Dan and the co-ops and uh, he work together to add the website and add to copy, the copyright information. So this is a suggestion that's in progress. So I'll hand it over to you, Dan, the suggestion system coordinator to get, get that moving. Yep, I've already approved that as a uh, supervisor that that's a good suggestion. Okay, um, so all of the problems that we've identified today so far, have they been contained? It sounds like uh, we've got... One has not. Right, and we've got that noted down here, so we'll follow that one up tomorrow. Um, all right, great. Then uh, let's make sure that we follow through with uh, cost. Do we have any pr cost problems? Okay. Um, actually, I pulled one off of the problem-solving board, Steve. Uh, it was a cost problem that you had identified earlier that needed to be checked this month, and we haven't checked it yet. So could you follow up on that? Yep. Great, thanks. And when you're finished, just put that back up on the problem-solving board. All right, and under uh, operational excellence implementation, does anybody have anything new there to share? I'll make sure we do the 5S audit today. Great, super. All right, I think that's it for today. Let's have a great day. Thanks. See ya. So what you just saw was a series of linked daily meetings or cascaded daily meetings. We often talk about these five circles, the team in the middle, the team above, below, and side to side. And what we just saw was this link between the team below and the team above, my team. You saw that Dan, the team leader for this team, linked up with me because he's a member of my team. And as a team leader, I followed a script for the daily meeting. You can see that this script is fairly detailed and there's a check off as we go along through the daily meeting. There are some standard questions that we ask and we try to capture some problem solving as, along the way as well so that we have a double loop plan to check act cycle around each problem. One of the things I wanted to mention too as a team leader is that uh, we ask this question, where do I need to be? Hopefully you've seen these uh, right side up and upside down triangles and uh, this leadership question, the leader needs to stay in the middle um, but he needs to ask, he or she needs to ask this question, where do I need to be today, in order to answer this question, how can I help you succeed? In the first daily meeting, you saw an interaction between Dan and Justin. Justin brought up a problem but couldn't do the five whys. Justin asked for some help, and the team leader wrapped himself around Justin and said, let's follow up and do the five whys after the meeting. Also, you saw some good teamwork during the second meeting where problem solving sheets uh, were handed across to the appropriate person and you didn't see that that person was upset to get that problem solving sheet. In fact, most of us were happy about the problems that we had identified. Um, so I just wanted to show you a couple of things about linked daily meetings and some problem solving sheets as they flowed uh, up and down in the organization. If you have any questions, give us a call or check out our website. Thanks.